Hello everyone, and welcome back to Curvacy Sword and the Crystal Shards. Last time we left off, we did these two, and mainly this one. But, <laughs> this time we're going on to the last two levels of this world, at least. We'll at least be doing those two. And we're just going to go straight into this one. You don't need any specific powers for this one, so go nuts. And, oh gosh, I still have the power from the last episode. Let me get rid of that stupid thing. <laughs> Do not want to see that power ever again. Hopefully we won't need... I don't Usually for combinations for levels needed, you usually don't need it again, but I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully not. There's some food up here. I need the foods. Ugh. Okay. I don't think these guys give you any abilities. If it was Return to Dreamland, they probably give you a leaf, but this isn't Return to Dreamland. This is Kirby Seas 4 Crystal Shards. I'm just gonna get Bomb, I guess. Oh, Bomb and Cutter. That'd be nice. Very nice, actually. This sounds excellent. And I missed. That's fine. Um, <laughs> is it actually? Okay, sorry. I thought I wrote something wrong down in my notes for a second there. Um, yeah, you want to go off to the left of the ex escalators whenever you can, because that's where one of the crystal shards is. And wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. That shouldn't happen. You'd be better at throwing the stars. Okay. Ugh. No, 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 please, no, please, no boulders. Bad, bad snake thing. That's possibly the spike ability. And there's Crystal Shard, pretty much on plain sight. It's pretty hard to miss. The only way you wouldn't get it is if you decide not to. <laughs> Which, I don't see why you do that, but whatever. I kind of wish the stars would stun the Gordos, but I understand why they don't, because Gordos are known for being invis in invisible? Invincible in the Kirby games. So, it makes sense. It feels nice having to do level without having to worry about any powers that we need or anything. It's it's really nice. <laughs> Not that, that will change really soon though, but you know, it, for now it's nice. Okay. Oh, there's these stupid things. We saw them. I think we saw them last world. Yeah, we did. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't see those guys. You must die. I need this food. And then lose it immediately. That's fine. It's all good. I mean, not really, but you know. I'm probably going to go for maximum tomato, assuming I don't die in this level. Which I hope I don't, because I would... Oh, well. Okay, to be honest, if I die, it's fine, because I don't have to cut anything, because I don't need to go back to get anything, so that's that's what's nice about these kind of levels, and freaking, I just keep getting hit. And there's a plane going outside of my house. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but it is happening. There's some more Lego blocks that are, okay, yeah, they only come down when you get close. And, oh, well, I died. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. See, because we're just going to go back, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to go, you know, and get mad and stuff, or get sad, or whatever I, happened to me last episode. I'm not entirely sure yet. They're still investigating. I'm not going to go for that cutter. Just because, okay, well, you know, that could happen, too. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't get a game over, because I'm going to try my best to get a, not get a game over in this list, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. That was actually oh, kind of spoilers to one of my previous Let's Plays, but whatever. I was pretty sad when I got a game over and Skyward Sword. That made me... Oh, that was just... That was just like, oh, Because I beat the game without getting a game over. I don't, I don't think that was the first time I ever got a game over, but like... Man, this made me sad. Come on, come on down. I don't want to kill you. I don't get to do that. That's fine. Either way, actually... What is... Actually, you know what? Your, your abilities could work. Yeah, I could use Spike and... Oh, well, that's not the one I thought it was, but yeah. That's not, I thought it was the... Oh, no, that's, that's Spike and... What else is that? I think it's Spike and Spike, yeah. I was thinking of... I was thinking of the one that had like, all the pencils and stuff and whatnot. And please do not hit me. I think that's what killed me last time, actually. That Gordo specifically. Or the one before that. This room, I think, is what killed me, so... Because we have a mini boss coming up, and I think this power will be good enough for the mini boss. It's a stationary mini boss, so it's not that big of a deal. But I'm not sure. I forgot the little minions things that are surrounding it are. And yeah, this should be fine. Oh yeah, this is perfect actually. <laughs> this is good. There we go. Dead. And there's Mr. Shard. Oh, I can't catch with the power. That's dumb. And let's see. Where is? Ah, oh, yes, this. Okay. So you're gonna memorize this fruit. So that's. You need to know the colors of them. That's green, orange, yellow. Because I think that's a melon. So green, orange, 
That looks like an orange. Green, orange, yellow. Green, orange, yellow. It's gonna be random each time, so the one that you get is gonna be different from the one that I get, so. Yeah, you have to know your color. Oh, yeah, you actually press down on these. So I'm gonna land on them, which is actually kinda nice, because it kinda suck if you land on one, on the wrong one or something. Yep, I got it right, sweet. Uh, so I wasn't sure if that green one was right or if the orange one was right, even. Kinda looked like an orange, but kinda not, so I wasn't really sure. And hey, this this is actually a really cool section of the level. I actually really like this whole, like how it's a mall and stuff. It's really it's really neat. I like levels like this in video games where they like, take real life, common real life things, and like make it a level of the game and stuff. This is like, kind of like the not that this really exists in malls or anything, but kind of like the gardeny section, which is still kind of cool with all these like the Venus flytrap enemies, but the really violent ones. And some book, some s furniture store. I'm guessing with furniture that wants to kill you, just like furniture stores, really. And, oh, okay. Let's fake it out. Make it think it's gonna kill me, but it's really not. I don't know if these are one that kills or not, but if they are, then watch out! And here's the aquarium part of the. This is obviously a pretty high end mall here. I don't know if your malls have aquariums or anything like that, but they do. Good for you! I wish I. I wish my mall had that. I think the most. Like, the best thing that my mall has, probably. Well, near me, anyways. It's like. I don't know, like maybe as, as like a two-story bookstore, which is kind of cool, I guess. It has a GameStop, which is all that matters, really. No, no, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I get this food right here. It's kind of hidden, actually, but it is there. And this is, uh, I guess, the, I don't know, the whatever part of the mall. Well, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> The electronics store, the fancy electronics. Oh, with these stupid wire things. Well, they're not stupid, they're actually kind of cool, but I like the idea of them. Like, you grab you onto them, and it's like, all of a sudden, this is a threat. It doesn't, like, appear on you, so it's like, you know what's happening. So you gotta, you know you gotta get out of the way. Let me get this food right here, and, and end the level, maybe? No. Oh, oh, yeah, this, this part is actually cool. You actually had to, like, hide behind these to actually avoid the cannons, and it's cool. I mean, you can jump over the bolts, too, but, like, you can use them to avoid them too. It's just ah. And see, this is the stuff I'm gonna talk about. It's like they they remade this game for 3DS, so this stuff that look really cool. And I can actually say they they can remake this game now, seeing that there's a new Kirby game. So I I can actually request that they <laughs> remake this game. I would actually love to see this game remade for 3DS. It look excellent. Um, <laughs> I think I'll go for the card. Oh well, I may not be able to get it actually. And no, okay. I wasn't sure if the hitbox would have been graceful towards me or not. See, like that was a pretty short level. Like that only took about eight minutes or seven or so. Um, this next one we're actually gonna go want to go back to. Oh, I keep on pressing B, thinking it'll go to the first world, which would be nice, but sadly that's not a thing. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna go to this one first. We're actually gonna get a good ability this time, which is nice. Um, but it's only for like the first like few minutes, so. And oh dang it, that that was the ability I need right there. I needed rock, and I actually accidentally combined it. it. All right, it's fine. There's one right here. Go back, and we'll go to this one. And we need to get spike here, which is one of my favorite combinations actually. At least coming up here, I actually, I really enjoy this combination. Um, freaking he died. <laughs> Alright, I think it's not coming up though, so we're fine. Yeah. Or not. Okay, let's just go back and get the other one. There we go. That will work. If you don't remember, Rock and Spike is the drill ability, which is really, really nice. That's a really nice ability, actually. So, let's go to Shiverstar and go to what is probably the hardest level in this world. I mean, the, the second level is pretty hard if you're doing it to get the crystal shards. But this level is just hard, no matter what, if you're getting crystal shards or not. It just makes it extra hard to get the crystal shards. Alright, this music is actually really cool, too. Be quiet. I can be, actually be quiet for a second, so you can listen to it. Yeah, it's, a, it's nice. I really do like that about this game. Like, how it just transitions so well to, like, different parts of the world. That's just so cool. Okay, so your first crystal shard is going to be right here. Um, 
as you can see, you break this, but you can't go any forward, so you have to break all these blocks in order to get the special shard, and I, yep, that's fine. Because all these walls are blocking away. And whoa, that's close. And then you can go get it, along with them stars, which is kind of nice. And then, as soon as you get that special shard, get rid of that ability, we need to get another one. And you actually have to go back to get this one. This one that we just saw earlier, it's not fire, which I believe is what this guy gives you. It's not that. It's not whatever this is, probably bomb. Yeah, not bomb. It is Cutter, which is right here. We need to get Cutter along with another ability, so keep this ability, do not die, do not lose it. It's another another second level situation here. Um, but we will be combining with another one later, and it's actually Pretty difficult one to combine this. So if you if you're not com I'll go and tell you what it is. You have to combine it with uh, electricity. So if you're not comfortable combining things like really easily, you can go back and get like after you get the crystal sword, you can go back and get uh, cutter and electricity. Get the electric sword. And also, there's King Dedede section here. Also, be very careful this section. Those hammers right there, they can actually one hit kill you. So be very careful. You will lose all your health, and it is a very nerve wracking section. One of the reasons why this level is so hard. There's another part of it that makes it kind of hard, but you have to be really careful here, because like when you swing your hammer, you kind of lose, whoops, you kind of lose your like momentum, I guess. So you kind of have to start walking again. So yes. So as you're breaking the other wall and the hammer section, you have to like run again, so you don't get smacked by the hammer. But once you get past this section, you should be pretty good. Oh my gosh, I almost got barely hit there. Okay, let's get this food because we need it. I'm not very. Oh, sorry, my phone went off there. I might have heard that or not. Um, there's electricity right there, but we can't get it because, well, yeah, my phone just went off twice. What the heck? I don't know what's going on? Uh, <laughs> it's like the notification I get for Twitter or something. Whatever. Okay, we get this cutter ability, and oh, we got an extra life. Very nice. The need knows that we're getting close. And then we're done with this section. Once you're done with that section, you should be good. I would be surprised if you're playing for the first time that you died during that section or not. Also, this this section is actually really interesting slash weird. It has like all these pictures of random stuff in the background. These may be like enemies that weren't going to get, weren't, or were going to get in the game but actually never made the cut or something, but I don't know. It's really weird. But it, it's kind of cool at the same time. So let's go ahead and go through. Okay, avoid that. Oh no! Okay, well, you know. And there's a car being loud outside my house. <laughs> Fancy that. That never happens in my neighborhood. It does. All the time. People just find it a good idea to, like, drive so loud outside my house. It's, it's, it's just annoying. And also, I don't know if you, if you got picked up or not, but still, it's, it's just... Ugh. Also, thank you, uh, I like to game, thank the game designers right here, for a second here, for not making this one part I'm standing on, uh, uh, conveyor belt. Thank you so much for doing that. It makes my life so much easier. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, your, did I actually miss, hang on one second, did I miss, no, okay, I didn't miss it. Well, I thought I actually missed the second crystal shard. The second crystal shard has actually happened for a while. That's fine, that's fine. We're good, we're good. And that cat, I believe, actually... I like to believe it belongs to the witch. I think I actually see the witch, actually, here. On one of the screens coming up here. A little bit spoilers, but sorry. And there's the electricity ability we need. Which is actually a pretty tough one to get, just because of how the enemy acts. So be very careful here. Mmm, lost it. That's not good. Alright. We're actually going to come back for that. It shouldn't be that. I think I might just come, come into this level with that ability, so we should be good. I actually would like a power, though. Please. Please. Yeah, that, I don't know if that's really the witch or not. It's probably not, but it kind of looks like her. I feel like that character and the cat character would go together. I don't know if that's my opinion. There we go. We got it. Now, if I can get this other so I can practice. Yeah, oh, well, that didn't actually work. That's weird, actually. Should have hit him. Okay, can you come down, please? Okay, whatever, this will work. I'm not actually very confident with this mini boss with this power, but... Yep, as you can see, that's what you break here with the ability. 
Things aren't going with, well with me for having certain powers for certain things. Which isn't good, to be honest, but whatever. Yeah, this, I feel like this is going to be difficult. Yep, this is going to be... You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to get that, the electricity, uh, the electricity sword. And then I'll do that again, because I'm not comfortable doing that like that. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I, got, I went back to a level that's got the electricity and the cutter somewhere else. So yeah, let's go and break this cage. I'm going to go and keep this ability for this boss, because that should be really useful. And yeah, I think it should work out well. Um, I just have to do this correctly, and I should be fine. Yeah, okay. You get him a combo right here, it'll be fine. You can at least hit him like three times on the way, the way back and forth. Just stay in the middle, don't be too risky and try to jump off the edge and hit him or anything. No matter really what power you have. So yeah, there we go, he's dead. It's all over now. And you can just duck to get rid of that sword so you can actually fly. And there's the crystal shard. Definitely did not take as long as it did with the second level, thankfully. So yeah. And here's also a really hard part of the level, coming up right here. Um, this is actually a thing that happens a lot in Kirby games, at least as of recently. I haven't returned on the Dream Land, I know that for sure. Well, you don't have these things that'll go up and down, and you have to hide in these spots, and these things that one hit kill you, <coughs> stuff like that. It's actually going to be a lot slower than I thought it would, but whatever, that's fine. It gives a lot more time to actually find a safe place to hide. But again, be careful, please, because if you aren't, then they'll one hit kill you, and you're dead, and you'll have to do the whole section over, assuming you don't have zero lives. So if he has zero lives in your game, I already do the whole level over again. You'll still keep, I think you'll still keep your crystal shards, but as I said, I think you have to do the whole level over again. Which is it? I don't know. I said this is the hardest level, which it is, if you aren't careful, basically. So I guess what I'm trying to say there. So just be careful at this level, and you should do okay. Don't t take too many risky moves, I guess, with this section or the King Didi section. Or really any section. Because a lot of them are like, if you get stuck in one area, you might just get comboed. Like, yeah, well, I, yep, I died here too. So, that's fine. Because I only have to do this, this section again. And that was kind of a silly mistake. It makes you think that certain parts are, are like safe spots, but they're really not. <laughs> Regular Spark in this game is so weak. Uh, I'm not sure if I actually could have made that or not. It's possible, but I don't really want to risk it, I guess. <laughs> Just wait here. Ah! I should block those cannonballs with my spark ability, which is nice. I'm not going for that. I probably could have made it, but... Again, you have to be cautious. You have to be very careful. And you can make it through this. I'm going back. Oh, that was really close, actually. I'm not sure if I actually could have made that or not. I maybe could? <laughs> That's a lot of... I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> what else is there really to say besides that? Okay. Just be careful. Don't go into that hole again, because that's a trap. And no, oh gosh. Bit of a risky move there, but whatever. I made it. I believe this part is safe right here. It's not. Makes you think. I, that's only. I've problem with depth perception. I'm not sure it actually has to do anything with it or not. And sometimes I've hard. I have a hard time telling like things apart like that. Like what's gonna squish me and what's not. So while I am being careful, it's kind of hard for me to tell sometimes. I feel like you could go through this one block in one go, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna try not lose as many lives as I can here because this is a section after this, and I think I'll actually lose lives on, but. Hopefully not. Because there's crystal shard there I need, and it would be nice if I could just not lose life there. <laughs> or here, even. Anymore, really. <laughs> Dang it. That's also one thing I hate, too. Is that if you get clipped by it, it's like, well, it's over. I only have one more shot at this, too, so. I can't die again. And this is why this level is pretty hard, because a lot of one-hit kill things. It's not, well, I guess it is kind of unfair in a sense, but at the same time, it, I mean, it makes sense. Like, how would you only take one damage from that thing squishing you? Okay. Let's go down this place, this hole. Let's 
run, make it. Run, 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 run. Uh, stay here, stay here, stay here. Okay. You also avoid these cannonballs, but they're not really that hard to avoid. Honestly, I don't even know. I mean, I understand why they're there, but at the same time, it's just like, well, it doesn't really matter if you take damage in this area, because no matter what, you're going to get one hit killed. I guess they're there to slow you down, maybe, but... And I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yep, there's nothing I can do here. There's nothing I got done. That's, I think, the first game over. Yep. That, yeah, and that's this is what happens when you get a game over. You go all the way back to the title screen. Well, I will be right back then. I'll... Yeah, I'll be right back to that screen, I guess, and then we'll continue on. This is probably going to be another long one for me to cut, and may just be a long episode in general. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back here. That just didn't take me too long to get here. I think I didn't have to do any Crystal Shard stuff, so... Yeah. I think with not getting Crystal Shards, too, it takes a lot, it's a lot easier to get through the levels. Obviously, it's because it's less of a challenge to get them. Um, I thought I could maybe get, like, some Crystal Shards, because... Uh, for those, I'm not sure if I actually point this out yet, but if you get a crystal shard, you go back to that level and like try to get that crystal shard again, and you can't because obviously you already gotten it. Um, so, oh gosh, am I dead here? Yeah. Oh, I know, I'm not, I'm not. We're good, we're good. Um, but yeah, so when you go back to that level to get the crystal shard, it's not there because you already got it. So, since they, are, they still give you a reward for like getting it, I guess. So, they give you like this blue star, which gives you tons of like stuff your one up bar thing which is really nice I actually really don't like hiding in that second hole right there just because it, it scares me just because I don't like ducking even though like I know it's safe but it's still like ugh. I don't know yeah and they put food there I guess we get hit by cannon even though I got food and then get hit by cannon I don't think I even really needed the food I might have I'm not really sure I've been paying my health because that's something I was not something I pay attention while doing this holy crap I was gonna hit there Help. Okay, I think this is the furthest we got last time. Okay, we're good, we're good. That slide actually really helped. Ugh, it feels like you're gonna die right here, but you're not. And of course I do it first try after I fail like four times. I'm pretty sure that's four times. Alright, so this room, it has like robots in it. Oh, well, there's obviously robots in the background, but there's other robots you need to be careful of. That we'll see in just a second here. Yep, that'll push these walls, which actually, they're really cute, cute looking robots, but at the same time, they're very deadly. Um, so be very careful. And on one of the right walls of them, a crystal shard is there. Not this one. Um, so be careful with that. It's on the left wall, so it's on one of the right ones. So you don't know, if you need food, then go ahead and get them. But also, these things do want to kill you if you stand against the wall. And there it is right here. And be run as fast as you can, because those things will... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we, well, we got this. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Even though we died there, it's fine. It's fine. These things are actually pretty easy to avoid. Much easier than the last one. The last level. So, we're fine. Okay. How long is this video? It's 30 minutes. <laughs> At least the wrong video. I don't know, like, these last two videos, man, they're just gonna be cut down by a lot. I think this one may be a bit longer than the last one, but I'm not entirely sure. I might even go for the crystal shard this time. Just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's still already got it, so it's fine. And this time you actually want to wait right here, because, yeah, that thing will come for you too, and that will kill you. And then they will back up, so it's not like you're stuck here or anything. Oh, what the heck. Of course this thing's going to hide. And please don't... Yeah, there we go. Let's get this, because I don't think we're going to use it anytime soon, but holy crap. We're actually going to have to get uh, whatever it's called at the end of this. I what it's called now. What are they called? Maximum Sato, yeah. Because I would like that. So, sorry for not getting the card. I feel like the hitbox on Maximum Sato is actually a lot graceful than everything else. But yeah, I think that's all we're going to do for this video. Next time, we're going to just take on the boss, because this video is actually getting pretty long, and I don't want it going on any longer. So, next time, we're going to take on the boss and finish up Shiverstar. So, I'll see you guys then.